Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here, and today I've got another short little unboxing video to share with you guys. Uh, so, I <laughs> this was sent by Scott. And uh, I just just based on what Scott usually sends, I know that it's something absolutely ridiculous. Um, I don't remember having a super specific conversation about um, you know what he was going to send, but there he sent me two things. So this is box number one, uh, and I'm you know it will probably be absolutely insane. So thank you very much to Scott, um, which I'll show his Instagram here in just a moment. Uh, thanks so much to my patrons for supporting me. And please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. If there is any type of link that I can provide with this, I, I will do it. But usually it's not the case. The reason for the letters is because there's there's like uh, private information, both mine and Scott's, on both sides of the box. So I'm going to try and keep that private. Oh, there's two in one box. Okay. Okay, so we, we're actually, <laughs> there might be two in the other one. So, so that we got two here today. Hold on. Let's, let's read here. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay, so which, do you have these labeled? This says open sex. So here, by the way, this is his social media. Right. CR underscore bound on Instagram. If you are not familiar with Scott, Scott's a great guy and he always loans me stuff. This aren't, he's not giving me these to keep. He always loans me stuff to show uh, on the channel to share with you guys, and it's usually stuff that very few people have ever seen. It's worth following Scott just to take a look at his collection, because if you guys have seen my collection, I've got about 160, 170 knives, and I've got some pretty nice stuff. It's nothing compared to Scott's collection. I mean, it's, it, Scott's collection is truly unique. Um, so make sure you give him a follow and, and check it out. So he's kind enough and brave enough to send this stuff uh, to share with everybody. So this is the one he wants me to open first. And if it's the one that's listed there on top, I think I'm going to go ahead and put on the glove. Um, not because I think it's delicate or I'm afraid to touch it. It's because, uh, you know, it's probably got a high polish on it. And maybe some anno that would otherwise be dulled by my fingerprints. Yeah, it's just feel this one out a little bit. Yeah, I think so. So this is, uh, not sure how many of these draw. So apparently, I did not know this. Oh my gosh. This is not, most of, a lot of Scott's stuff is actually customized. This is not. This was a version of the Peregrine that actually dropped. I did not know this. Look at those, the Max Ace Peregrine is um, one of my favorite Max Ace models ever. And Scott got his hands on something that I didn't even know existed. Oh, my gloves. Woo, baby, that is nuts, man. I, man, that is unreal that these companies are... Is this black? Is this mirror polish DLC? Oh, it's so hard to tell because it's... Hold on, we got to read here. That is stunning. Absolutely. What do we got here? That's, I pretty, I don't know. I'm going to have to read. It looks darker than the tie. But that's, um, that's San Mai ZDP that's been mirror polished, which could not have been, <laughs> could not have been an easy task. Let's read. This is a special variant of the Max Ace Peregrine. I should hold this up while I read it. I'm going to try and do this here so you guys can look at it. Uh, with polished DLC ZDP 189. Face reveal, face reveal, face reveal. Everybody's seen my face. If it's your first time, you know, congratulations. <laughs> um, with a very faint stone wash. There is? There's stone wash in it? Hold on. My camera's wanting to focus on the reflectivity there. Boy, I'm just seeing debris, like just dust. Is that? Hold on a second. Use my glove here. Whoa, what did I touch? I think I accidentally almost touched the edge. Not a good idea. There is a little faint uh, tumbling in there. Okay, interesting. Um, 
Anyways, uh, hard to find right now. This has superb glassy action. Sorry. Um, single stud is a bit pointy. And finally, clip ramp is hard to get in the bubble, but in jeans pocket. This is the nicest of the Peregrine models. It absolutely is. Discuss may be a good compliment for your other Peregrine review. Um, yeah, I'm really glad that you sent this. I did not realize it was Mirror Polish ZDP. That is wild, man. That is absolutely wild. Unreal. Wow. It really does. That action on this is different than the, like my, I, I at one point had two. I had the copper version and I also had the, um, I still have the marble carbon fiber version. This is the one I kept. And the action is absolutely different there. The Timascus inlays on these are exceptionally beautiful. There's a lot of magenta in there. Wow. That's just unreal. I mean, the mirror polished blade kind of takes away the look here, but they've also polished these inlays. That is really stunning. Holy moly. Yeah, a mirror polished black DLC. Hope we see more of that. That's really cool. That'd be awesome if the price could come come down on that stuff. <laughs> um, and then next up we have this pronounced Tase. T T H Y S. The T H Y S uh, Mead Knives. It's it's in parentheses. T H Y S in parentheses. Mead Knives. The Swordfish. Let's uh, open this up before. Oh, I'm just gonna keep the glove on just in case. Before we read there. Okay, we got that nice little That's a nice pouch there. That's what she said. Okay. Oh, yeah, I remember that one. Oh, boy. Look at that. has to be zirconium. I mean, I think. We'll read. We'll read here in a second. God, look at that clip. Wow. <laughs> oh, it's got like an eggshell finish on that clip and on the uh, titanium underneath. Oh, you know we've got a nice blade under there. Oh, Ooh, boy, that is nice. Look at that mirrored swedge up there and then hand rub satin finish flat and bevel down to the cutting edge. What a nice profile. Here, let's, um, here we go. Get out of your rubber band. Let's, uh, let's take a look at this guy here. Man, that is really, really beautiful. Oh. The copper pivot collar in contrast with what I assume is uh, the zirconium overlay. We have a titanium, oh, and of course, of course, why wouldn't the action be absolutely perfect? Hard to get that flip with the, the gloves on. So, uh, very stunning. Let's get both of these back out here. Whoops. It's so hard to do this with a glove and not throw the knife, right? It's <laughs> risk reward. <laughs> um, the uh, t uh, pronounced Tase, T-A-S-E, Meads is yet another fabulous and infinitely talented South African custom knife maker. Of course. Of course. Right? His specialty is often smaller gentlemen's folders, but his Guardian model is larger and top shelf. The pinnacle of his work, in my opinion. Take your word for it. Now he's introduced his latest model, the Swordfish. Okay, so this is called the Swordfish. And this piece is the first Proto One released publicly. A second is headed to USN, and it's a stunner as well uh, in MOP. He is still working on some final designs, including the scale, shape, and show index finger groove location. But these are minor touches to improve an already exceptional design. Piece of specs, uh, well, hold on a sec. Vapor Blast Tie, RDBL 34, Zirconium Thumb Studs, Boomerang Copper, Black Paper Micarta. This is not zirconium. This is black paper micarta. What? I never would have guessed. Never in a million years would I have guessed. Am I reading that correctly? Hold on. Uh, tie RWL 34 blade. So this is vapor blasted uh, titanium zirconium thumb studs. So the thumb studs are zirconium, right? There's a subtle difference there in the sheen and, and the, the darkness, I guess. Um, boomerang copper, um, it says BS. Is it the piv BS? I'm going to the pivot collar, I guess. It's copper. Black paper micarta scales and copper collars. Okay, so he's talking about something else. Something else here is copper. Backspacer. Duh. The backspacer. Oh, it's, wow. It's a San Mai copper backspacer. So we have probably zirconium and copper mixed together. But black paper micarta, wow, I didn't know that you could have. 
I got tricked. I got bamboozled. Oh, no, my glove's stuck in the liner lock there. Um, wow, yeah, that is exceptional. Beautiful stuff. I got a lot of stuff here from uh, Scott that needs its own videos, so I need to get going on that because these are some really beautiful knives. Excellent stuff, as per usual, from Scott. These are not reviews. They are just unboxings. And first, I've never handled these particular knives before. Now, I've, obviously, I've handled the Peregrine before, just not in this form. But I don't know anything outside of what Scott has given me here uh, for the top knife. So the, a little bit of study will go into these, and then I'll do some final um, overviews and reviews, probably more over, since this is a custom knife, more of an overview, right? But we'll do additional videos with more information there. Um, but any, any information that I can link in the description, I will just don't expect things like this to be readily available. Certainly do not expect them to be cheap. Stuff like this is very expensive. This, if this is your first venture into this section of the knife world, it's always a shock, right? It's, it's always a big shock, but this is not a new thing. Uh, expensive pocket knives are not new. They've been around for a very long time. Um, but yeah, that can just, just a little fair warning there. Um, that's going to be pretty much it today, guys. Where'd my card go? Uh, thanks again to Scott. Make sure you guys follow him at Sierra underscore bound on Instagram. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like. So check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that metal complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.